guys, Heather here. What is one really important thing that we have to make sure happens with our patients before they leave the hospital, hmm? And this can be an issue, especially after surgery, because the bowels slow down with all those pain medicine that's given to them. So yes, it's our job to help jumpstart the bowels. Like jumpstarting a car battery needs a jolt of electricity. Some patients need a jolt of dynamite for their bowels. So what do we use in that kind of situation? Well. My choice of dynamite is milk and mag and a suppository. Given together, you will have the results you want 99.9% .9 of the time. Given separately, those two things just don't have the same effect. Usually it's zero effect. So if the doctor only orders one of those, you can try it if you want, but I usually have to call and ask for both. Sometimes they might order like, oh, give suppository and an ineffective given enema. And I'm thinking, uh-uh, no enema will be given today. We're going to give the dynamite duo of milk of magna suppository. And we'll blow it out of them that way. And my patients don't usually get to vote on that one. Some patients will have something similar to a baby dinosaur bowel movement. Seriously. It's kind of creepy. But I'm always happy with that decision. I don't really get along well with those anima things. One time I had a patient who was like constipated for 10 days and I came on shift kind of like when she's been there already for a while so I didn't really question this order but there was an order to give enemas like every hour and I was like whoa um come on how am I supposed to get anything else done can we at least make it like every two hours and I personally don't have that much luck with enemas because a lot of the patients can't even retain the fluid in their body like the directions say to do and then it just comes right back out making a mess with none of the results that I wanted Sorry for the graphic picture. That's my dilemma. So I try and stay away from them as much as possible. But just so you know, it's probably not the best idea to give milk of mag to your renal impairment patient because their kidneys can't metabolize it very well. I learned that one when I called up a doctor and asked for milk of mag for my kidney patient. It's hard to remember everything you learned in nursing school. So the next time your patient needs to have their bowels jump started, remember that dynamic duo of milk of mag and a suppository. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you soon, Kay. Bye.